This is DIY Thyroid Part 3. I've talked previously how to obtain the lab tests on your own because many doctors don't want to do it, don't understand it, uh, don't want to be bothered learning about it, so you can get those tests done on your own quite easily. Once you get the tests, uh, part two of this series talks about how to interpret those tests, including posting your numbers, anonymously of course, on the undoctored websites for discussion, including the Facebook page. And you'll be surprised at the level of uh, help, interest, and sophistication that will encounter everyday people who share an interest in, in thyroid health. And this third part now is how to correct your, thi your hypothyroidism. If your TSH and other values suggest you have low thyroid status, uh, how to do that. Now, these are the kinds of conversations I'm introducing in my new book, Undoctored, Why Healthcare Has Failed You and How You Can Be Smarter Than Your Doctor. So if you've got your thyroid panel, all the numbers from your uh, labs, and you think you have hypothyroidism, meaning low thyroid hormone status, suggested by an inability to lose weight no matter what you do, including doing the diet just right, um, feeling inappropriately cold, particularly in your hands and feet, Low energy that you can't explain by other, for, by, by other reasons, like lack of sleep or excessive stress. Um, leg edema and constipation that doesn't make any sense to you. You're doing everything right and you still have constipation. Those are, there are other signs and symptoms, but those are the most common by far. So you get, a, you get an oral temperature. Don't forget about that one. And your temperature, say, is 96.1 or 95.9 on average. Recall that we're, we're aiming for 97.3, that reflects a normal thyroid status. And the lower uh, the temperature is away from 97.3 and more consistently, the more likely it is you have hypothyroidism. So your, your panel comes back, let's say, with a, a TSH of uh, 3.5. And the laboratory says reference range, that is presumed normal, is 0 0.5 to 4.5. And your doctor says you're fine. Even though you've gained 18 pounds, you're cold all the time, you're depressed and tired. So maybe you have to take this on yourself, or maybe you have a low free T3 in the lower half of the reference range or even below the refer reference range altogether. Or perhaps you have a high reverse T3 above the uh, reference range or at the upper range of the reference range. So these are different forms of hypothyroidism. Those are the most common forms. There are other forms. So what do you do? Well, your default preparation well, first of all, you should have addressed iodine. It takes about two months for iodine to be fully restored. So if you start with a TSH, say, of 4.0, and free T4, free T3, maybe uh, and they look normal, or T4 can be a little lowish with iodine deficiency. First step is take iodine for a couple of months, track your temperatures, and then repeat a thyroid panel. That's the best way to do it. Let's say the numbers are no better meaning you didn't have iodine deficiency. It's still worth taking iodine to prevent iodine deficiency and get the other non-thyroid benefits of iodine, like protection from breast diseases. Uh, but iodine deficiency was not the cause of your thyroid disruption. If, if your thyroid comes into normal range and your normal temperature, it's up, well, good. You're done. Just take the iodine, track thyroid, maybe once in a great while. But if iodine proves not to be the solution, this is when we commit to thyroid hormones. There are too many factors in life, including prior grain consumption, that cause um, damage to the thyroid gland. And the thyroid gland is very poor at recovering ability to manufacture thyroid hormones. So your, your solution is to take thyroid hormone that your thyroid gland cannot manufacture any longer. By default, the best solution is always a combination T4, T3 preparation. These are often called desiccated thyroid, bovine thyroid, uh, porcine thyroid, they come in names like Armour Thyroid, Nature Throid, uh, Thyrolar, and several other preparations. Most doctors will not prescribe those. So the first step is to find someone, a healthcare practitioner, who will prescribe the natural or desiccated forms of thyroid. Why? Because they include the T3 thyroid hormone. And 80% of people feel better, warmer, happier, lose weight more readily, and all the other phenomena of hypothyroidism reverse much more readily. Now, 20% of people don't need that T3 or the other hormones in the, in the desiccated or natural preparation and can do fine on levothyroxine, that is the T4 only. That's the solution that your doctor typically prefers because for many years the uh, levothyroxine was branded as Synthroid and the sales reps would make 
uh, often false claims about its potency and its purity, etc., over the natural preparations. Now that it's gone generic, a lot of that marketing push has fallen apart, but a lot of the doctors still follow that old marketing, those marketing um, ploys of only prescribing levothyroxine. But 20% of you can do just fine on levothyroxine. And some people don't like the uh, T3 component of the armor, thyroid, nature, thyroid, etc. And they get kind of jittery and uh, like this anxiety effect and can't sleep at night and their heart is racing. If you get those effects, you're probably among the people who just need to leave with thyroxine. And that's okay. It just means that you preserve the capacity to convert T4 to T3. But 80% of us, including myself, by the way, do better with the T4, T3 natural and desiccated thyroid preparations because something has impaired our conversion of T4 to T3. T3 only comes from T4 uh, being converted to T3 or by taking um, a T3 separately. So most of you do better on the combination T4, T3 preparations. If you're already on levothyroxine, you want to find a practitioner who will entertain the possibility of converting you over to one of those natural desiccated preparations to add the T3. That's first choice. Second choice would be to add T3. You can take a separate T3, just as T4 is levothyroxine, T3 is lifethyronin. You can take that too. Uh, not the best. There's a theoretical benefit to taking the other thyroid hormones and other components that are present in the natural desiccated preparations, like the thyroid hormones T2 and T1. All those numbers, T4, T3, T2, T1, T1 simply refer to the number of iodine molecules within each thyroid hormone molecule. And there may be benefits to those other thyroid hormones, but it's very poorly charted out. So if you take levothyroxine, find a doctor who will, one, assess your T3, or you assess it, assess it yourself, and then talk about correcting your T3, should it be low, or if you reverse T3, is high. So that's pretty much it. How do you correct thyroid? But then you want to monitor your levels, a reasonable a period of time is no sooner than four weeks after any kind of introduction of a dose or a dose change to recheck your thyroid panel. It takes that long for the T4 component to exert its full effect. The T3 is quick, but the T4 is slower. So no sooner than three to four weeks at earliest to reassess. And we aim for ideal values like we talked about in the second video. An ideal TSH, ideal free T, free T4, etc. Now, if you identify a need for thyroid uh, hormone, and your doctor refuses, first step, find a healthcare practitioner who's willing to prescribe, because it is a prescription agent. We could question whether with the wisdom of whether it should be a prescription agent, but it is a prescription agent, whether we like it or not. But there are ways to get it on your own if you have to. I have ordered my thyroid without a prescription. I didn't write my own, I just ordered it, from the UK, from England, for a while. No problems. Uh, it costs a little bit more, maybe, but there's no doctor's visit involved, no hassles. So that's how I've done it. Some people cross the border into Canada and found ways to do that or have a friend who gets it for them. There are ways to do this. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here because we can get ourselves in some legal trouble, and I don't want to bring legal trouble on the people who uh, manage to bring it into the U.S. or North America for us. So recognize there are ways that you can find by talking to people, Googling, etc., ways to obtain thyroid hormone if you must. That's the second best. Your first choice is to find a healthcare practitioner who supports you, who advocates for you, who collaborates with you. But if you must go around that kind of, go out on your own, you can do that too.